guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies, as always, recording from England. For those of you who've been asking, I'm clearly not English, as you can hear from my accent, but I'll leave that for you guys to work out where I'm from. So, today we're going to talk about kin. And before I start, guys, let me know in the comments, do you huddle kin? Do you guys like the project and the whole idea behind it? Or maybe you've never heard of it and you're actually going to learn something new. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. So nowadays you would find certain cryptocurrencies in almost every existing industry, starting from entertainment to education, medicine, social media, and even sports, or even betting. The concept of using a virtual currency for transactions and payments, which started back in 2009 with only one legit currency named Bitcoin, has now expanded using nearly 1,800 cryptocurrencies, among which around 1,600 coins are used by various traders, and every day new ICOs are being tokenized into new digital currencies, thereby making the cryptocurrency market even more competitive. And under these circumstances, each cryptocurrency currently available in the market, along with new ICO startups, is trying to provide something unique to their traders. As social media has become like an inseparable part of modern human life, different cryptocurrencies are trying to work this new trend to their advantage. And KingCoin, Kin is certainly one of the most successful names among such currencies. This coin was introduced into traders in September 2017 by Kik, which is one of the most renowned social media companies in Canada, after raising an interesting $98 million in its token sale, the coin is still under constant technical development, which are likely to be completed by the end of this year. So it all sounds quite good, but what's the actual purpose of KIN? So the KIN coin was developed by the Canadian social media company KIK for the purpose of providing a blockchain platform where content developers and consumers are able to transact directly in lieu of depending on some advertising revenue for monetizing the content creation service. And by nature, KinCoin was an ERC20 token, actually still is. However, the developers of this coin are making an upgrade, which we're gonna talk about right now. The Kin blockchain powers all Kin transactions and has a unique design that makes it both secure and scalable. It's basically a combination of two blockchains. The Ethereum blockchain for liquidity and eventual payout of the Kin Rewards engine and the consumer blockchain, which is a custom fork of Stellar developed by Kin for consumers experience within the ecosystem. And the Kin blockchain recently achieved 1.2 million transactions per day at a rate of 20 transactions per second. On top of that, there has been some recent partnerships that they've announced that will be joining them in their ecosystem and that will be Blockhack Network and IMVU. So Hope Incentives, a Black Hole Network business, will provide gift cards to certain users in the ecosystem via an integrated order API. And this creates an automated, customizable way for certain apps in the Kin ecosystem to offer broadly appealing Kin spend offers to users directly through those applications and users of those apps will be able to spend their Kin on e-codes from a host or desirable brand. Whereas the IMVU, which is the world's largest avatar-based social network, will provide their users with the ability to transact in the Kin ecosystem. And the company has a very active user base where users spend 55 minutes per day customizing avatars, connecting with friends and having shared experiences in the virtual community. And it already generates more than 50 million transactions, spending nearly 10 billion monthly in the platform's existing native currency, being IMVU credits. It all sounds amazing, but there is one particular reason, obviously, I made this video about, and it's there another step towards making Kin like the most used cryptocurrency in the world, and that's being Kinit Beta for Android, which is now available for downloads. So Kinit is like the first publicly available app dedicated to Kin. Their goal with Kinit is to get Kin into consumers' hands, it's a major step towards making crypto truly consumer friendly through fun and engaging experiences and they plan to learn and iterate based on real world user behaviors. Do you know what? I could talk about it or I could just show you guys the video. So I'm just going to show you the video that they've got on the Medium account about it.
So yeah guys, I'm hoping that this video was quite self-explanatory and showed how easily it works. So if you guys been wondering what's been happening with Kin Price recently, this is the reason of it. And I almost forgot about the news that Kin Foundation has also created a digital economy with a $3 million developer fund. They also have the developer fund, which is the first thing you see when you go onto their website. So guys, if you're interested in it, obviously apply for it. Their rewards are quite amazing on it, which basically builds a meaningful experiences with the world's most consumer-ready cryptocurrency. So if you get accepted to the program, you'll receive up to $60,000 and 400 million kin. It's applications until August the 10th, and these are all the things that are allocated with it. So if you guys are obviously interested, it's worth applying for. It's not something I would do because it's not what my profession is around. Uh, but let's have a look actually on Kin and have a look on the whole crypto cap. So we have market cap at 282 billion. But let's go to Kin. From what I remember, Kin was usually around 60. Yes, it's 65 on coin market cap and it's currently up 3%. So if you guys have been wondering what is all this graph, so Kin is currently trading at not 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 two cents and it's up two percent over the 24 hours. The market cap of it's 160 million dollars, and like I said, it's around 65. It's all time high was on January the 6th and the price was not not one dollar you can get it from and um, hit bit to see idx america talks coin falcon so it's not really that widely and easily available which is i think why a lot of people don't hold it because i know how people hate registering to another exchanges but if you want to get gems like kin it's unfortunately something you have to do and guys this is not a professional financial advice i forgot to mention it it's just my opinion about kin i'm just summarizing all the news that's been happening around it explaining the current pump of it you can get it with bitcoin and ethereum and guys yeah basically let me know what you guys think of kin what is your opinion about it do you guys like it? And before you guys go away, remember to subscribe to Combust Ladies. Hit the like button if you enjoyed our video. Leave a comment saying what you like about Ken the most. And remember to follow me at All Queen Sarah on Twitter as well, where I just post loads of stuff, loads of news. You know, it's my Twitter. I'm not much of a shit poster, but yeah, sometimes I do end up shit posting. So guys, I'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed our video. Bye bye.